it's your girl Joelle Alexandra here and I know what you're saying I have not been on YouTube for maybe a year now I actually uploaded my intro video and said oh yeah I'm gonna be dropping videos every week and it didn't come because <laughs> I got really busy um, but I'm here now and I'm here consistently now um, so let's just get into it today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys five fashion hacks um, five fashion hacks from a wardrobe stylist herself and i'm also a personal stylist so i'm gonna give you five hacks today that you can use right now okay so stay with me also make sure you guys subscribe and like the video um i just want to make sure that you are here consistently as well as i'm here consistently now <laughs> But go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so the first three hacks are all pants related, jeans related. Um, so let's get into the first one. The first one is, do you have that problem where you're always having your fly down or you're always having issues keeping your zipper up? Well, this one thing that we have on our everyday essential can be fixed. Okay, so all you need is a key ring. Here's my key ring. This is all you need, which honestly, if your keys are like mine, which I have so many keys on here, um, you can find an extra key ring. So I'm gonna show you a visual of what to do to prevent your zipper to, for coming, um, from coming down. So let's take a look now. So the second hack is your belt. I don't know if you're like me, but what my belt does is it leaves this little hangover thing and I cannot stand it. It drives me insane um, because like it just doesn't look flattering at all. Um, so you can always use double-sided tape to basically tape that down, but who wants to buy double-sided tape? And you have a scrunchie you can use a scrunchie you can use a rubber band a rubber band is more appealing just because you can get a little black rubber band those little tiny ones and put it right it, it will do the trick so let me show you a visual of how we're going to prevent that issue today <laughs> actually did this video on my IGTV where I showed you guys how to try on pants without trying on pants <laughs> so basically I hate going into the fitting room I absolutely hate it like I would rather go home try it on and go back and return which I hate returning as well um, but this hack like saves a lot of time it saves the fact that you don't have to go in the fitting room. This is bottoms only though, but it saves a lot of time. And I actually asked 
a poll on my GTV. A lot of people do this trick as well and it works for them. So I just leave a comment and if it works for you, uh, let me know, but it works for me. So I want to give you guys what I, I do. So I have a pair of jeans here. They're my size. This is a size 29 in the Levi's jeans. Um, yeah. So I do not want to go in the fitting room and I do not want to try it on. So let me take off my jacket because it's hot. Okay. So, so what I will do is I will take the jeans and it may be embarrassing to do this in public. Do not have any shame. Everyone does it. Do not have any shame. Plus, if you don't want to go in the fitting room, this is what you need to do. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll put it around my neck. And then you see how it's touching right there? This means that my jeans will fit in the 29 and it will fit, okay? Um, the last time I did the trick I was wearing, I did it with the, these jeans and you can see how perfect they fit. Um, but what I'll do is I will go ahead and try on the Levi's jeans just to show you guys that it works, okay? So, so as you can see, perfect fit, no belt necessary. If it's absolutely perfect, so it works, it works. <laughs> so do not take your time in the fitting room, why? Who wants to do that? Who wants to go in the fitting room? Not me. <laughs> That's just when the stories open back up, right? <laughs> okay, let's move on. So now we're gonna talk about top hacks. Um, so I have on a bodysuit can see let me turn around the bodysuit is razor back as you can see so you can't either you don't wear a bra with this or you wear a bra and um you need to cover your straps because who wants to show straps right so i'm going to show you the way with the bra if you have to wear a bra here i have my favorite bra um it's from walco I love and I swear by Rocco. Um, it's so comfortable. I actually had a bra fitting, which this is all topic. I actually had a bra fitting for the first time um, last year. And it was an amazing experience because this was my first one ever. And I was wearing the wrong size for a long time. But my Rocco rep, she, she hooked me up. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you what to do for you not to show the straps, okay? Okay, so what I love about this bra specifically is it is very low cut, so you don't see anything, which is great because I can wear low cut shirts and it still looks good, but this is a no-no. Like, this is a no-no. We don't wanna go out, we're too grown right now to be showing our bra straps. So what I have is these things here. This basically goes in the back of your bra to not show it anymore. Also, it gives you a push up as well if you're looking for something to push up your boobs, okay? This I got at Forever 21. Um, they're like, I think they're called like bra clips or something like that. But say for instance, you don't have the budget to buy these. I think it was like $4 for a pack of three. You don't have the budget to buy these okay use a scrunchie something we all have use a scrunchie all you have to do is cut the scrunchie in half i'm not gonna cut my scrunchie in half because i don't have a lot <laughs> but you cut the scrunchie in half and all you have to do is tie it tie it and then look that's all you have to do right well it's showing here but anyways you just, and it's showing now, but it still looks cute. But you just tie it up and then it does the trick. But without the tie up, I have my little thing. Okay, so you see what I did there? Obviously I didn't use the, this is the wrong top for it. Um, just because obviously it shows the back. Um, it shows a little bit there, but say for instance, it was like a higher cut here 
Also, you can adjust the hard thing. So you can adjust to go down. Can't really do it right now because I can't really see back there. And it's kind of hard to do by yourself. So you may need assistance. Um, but you can adjust it so that it's more racer back where you want it. Um, but also, you can see how it gave me a little extra push and cleavage. Um, my boobs look great. <laughs> so either you can either you can buy these clips. $4.99, Forever 21, Amazon probably has some as well. Or just use a scrunchie, just cut it in half and then just tie it up and it will do the trick. So you have two options. Now we're gonna go into if you do not wanna wear a bra, which is totally me. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to prevent the nips from showing. Um, if you don't wanna buy the nip slips, Here's another option. So if you're still watching this video, that means you like me. That means you should subscribe to the channel. I think so. <laughs> okay, so the last um, hack that I'm going to give today is we want to prevent these from showing. Um, it's not really appealing. We want a way to not show without even buying nip slips. We don't even want to waste the money to buy those $5.99 nip slips that literally are not reusable when they say they're reusable, but it gets really sweaty and everything, but <laughs> we want to talk about that. So um, I have a first aid kit, thanks to Lexus, North Miami. Um, they put a, a first aid kit in my vehicle, <laughs> which has like everything, which I was so surprised when like, look at all this stuff it has in here. <laughs> hey, for free? Well, technically, I'm paying for it. But, yeah. Okay, so what do you need? So, depending on if you're just trying to cover just your nipple or if you're trying to get most of the, like, your boob area, this is what you need. This is a big band-aid, as you can see, that can just literally cover the whole thing, right? Amazing. This is if you have bigger boots than me because, obviously, I don't need these big ones. But what I'm going to use today is the smaller ones. Um, I'm just going to use one. I'm going to show you the difference between one and the other to see what it actually does. So I'm gonna use a normal size Band-Aid here and then give me one second, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go close up. This is the one with the Band-Aid. This is the one without the Band-Aid. So you can kind of see a difference. Obviously, if you need to use the bigger Band-Aid because it will cover that whole section and then you can always even lift it up with the Band-Aid instead of getting the nip slips. So again, Band-Aid, no Band-Aid. Band-Aid, no Band-Aid. <laughs> so I gave you guys five hacks from a wardrobe stylist um, that I use in my everyday. And I hope you guys use it. Comment below just to I wanna know if you guys already used it and how it worked for you and then if after I want to see like you guys if you guys did use it and you want to comment to say what your what your opinion was what your reaction was so again I need you guys to hit the subscribe button um I promise to be more consistent So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Again, my name is Joelle Alexandra. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a lovely self-quarantine because that's what we're doing. And it is Monday and I decided to put on some makeup to the living room.